Good morning, Froggy Night at 9.9. You're taking a break with Mandy, part of the wake up call in the morning. And here's a good question Is there an age limit when it comes to trick or treating? I think to myself, if you're a teenager and you're keeping out of trouble and all you're doing is trying to get candy, I really don't have a problem with it. Compared to what's the statute of limitations? As long as they're not stealing pumpkins, throwing right. toilet paper in trees. You were maybe talking about you. I never would do anything uh, like that. No, you <clears throat> 15, 16 would probably be the limit just because, I mean, that's when kids stop wearing or going out with their friends. They're going to start going to the Halloween parties really? versus yeah. trick-or-treat. That's both my kids right now. They are all about the Halloween. Halloween parties. Okay. Yep. If you see a 23 year old at your door trick or treating, there's something wrong. <laughs> If they have a driver's license, they're too old. old. (laughs) I don't think it really matters, but I know there's a lot of people out there who would who would care. (laughs) I probably stopped trick or treating about the time I could drive, because then we just start going to like Halloween parties or like out in the woods or something like that. So like 15, 15, 16, I think. When people stop handing you candy and tell you to get off my porch, you (laughs) punk kid, like that's probably when you should do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you asked because I've got a principle. If if you're old enough to have a beard, I don't trust you with a fake beard. <laughs> so if you're old enough to have a beard, you shouldn't be trick or treating with a fake beard, man or woman, girl or boy. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we just even stop there. That's good enough. I can't We're going to stop there. We're going to stop anymore. there. <laughs> the Wake Up Call with Scotch, Tank, and Mandy on Froggy 99.9. <laughs> it's the show that B.D. Wong likes. Scotch, Tank, and Mandy, Froggy 99.9. Game time, game time. Once again, the game that everybody hates. It's Tank's Random Facts. That could also be True or False. false. There's the mystery man of the hour, Mr. Tank McNamara. True or false today? Oh, Yay! boy. Yeah. Yay! There's a good 50-50 chance. The human skeleton is made up of less than 100 bones. True or false? That's got to be false. I think we have more. Less than 100? Yeah, like, look at your fingers. There's, like, so many in there. Yeah, I got to agree with Mandy. False. You guys are both right. Yay! Woo-hoo! Oh, about 206 bones. Oh, I thought there'd be way more than that. Okay. I'll take it. I accept. 200, 200 some bones in her body. I've seen scotch with 207 before. Took a whole chicken down. He had a chicken bone stuck, caught in his, stuck throat. in his throat. So they were like, yep, that's 207 it bones. It was lodged sideways like on a cartoon. So you can <laughs> see <laughs> Can you breathe better that oh, way? Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> More chicken. Elephants <laughs> are the only animals that can't jump. Elephants? Yeah. True or false? I don't know. The only that. animals? Are we considering you an animal? Because Shit. I don't think you have much of a vertical over there. What about rhinos and hippos? Yeah. I don't think they can jump, so I'm going to say that's false. I hate to be piggybacking off your answer again, but I'm, I'm with I you. I said elephants, not pigs. <laughs> false. <clears throat> <laughs> pigs can't you either, can, can they? They can They can fly. Did you know that? Pig, <laughs> when pigs fly. <laughs> um, the answer is false. There are other animals that can't jump, like a sloth. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's like way Why too slow. Can't Would they you <laughs> like a jump. sloth? Would you laugh to see one just leaping all over the place? <laughs> woohoo! Woohoo! It's like woo-hoo. you're faster when you jump than when you crawl. Why does that sloth have white powder all over its nose? <laughs> Coked up sloth. <laughs> the fingerprints of a koala are virtually indistinguishable from those of a human. Is that true or false? Little koala. They look like a human's? Yeah, is what fingerprints. you're saying? Fingerprints. You know, they do have little, like, um, raccoons, I feel like, would be similar. I'm going to say this one's true. I'm calling BS on that. False. It's true. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, if you ever get in trouble, just have a koala with you and put their <laughs> prints down. Uh, koala fingerprints are remarkably similar to the human ones. Weird. Just don't get them wet. They kind of turn into gremlins. A koala does? <laughs> yeah, they don't they like look being wet. Yeah, they're scary looking. They're like a mogwai? Yeah, you Google s- it. They're so adorable when they're all fluffy and then they get wet and they're like a scary beast. Ah, they look like that. Oh, I thought look you like meant the they sound like of multiply. <laughs> it's like, ooh. At this moment, we don't know. That's fictional movies. <laughs> the horn of a rhinoceros is made from bone. True or false? What else would it be made of? Unicorn bone? Yeah. Um... <laughs> they go down to the unicorn yeah, yeah. farm and like transplant horn. them. Um, Let's try to keep this grounded in reality, people. Okay. It's made of bone. I say true. Yeah? 
Uh, I'm going to say false. What? What is it made of? Marshmallow? Let's, no. Let's have Dank tell us. Okay. It's false. E- what the heck? What is it? Keratin? Huh? Keratin? It's the same material like- as human hair and nails. Ugh. So, so is it like maybe a softer consistency? Like you, if but it's keratin. All we need to know is it's not made of bone and weird. I got that one right. Fine. So if you went into like a woman's bathroom and cleaned out everything in the sink, you could make a rhino right. bone. All that hair and Yum. nails that get caught in there. Why you got to put that in my brain? It's like the most disgusting thing to clean out. Isn't yeah, it? it is. I'll bring that up the next time my husband does that for me. Yeah. Okay, you got a it's... rhino horn in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You, should, you know, you should collect it and then make a rhino horn. Yeah. That's more fun than a coked up sloth. <laughs> Are we going to take a pause? Okay. We'll take a break and be right back with more of everybody's least favorite game show, Tank's Random Facts, that can also be true or false. I win. <laughs> That'd be funny like cocaine bear, but it's coked up sloth. <laughs> Froggy 99.9. <laughs> well, hey, look at that. We're back at Scotch Tank and Mandy heading into round two of Tank's random facts. That could also be true, true or false. false. I always miss it. You guys Marvel fans? Yeah. 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 Seen them all? Black Widow 2021. You ever heard of it? Yeah. Is the first Marvel film centered around a female superhero? Is that true or false? Are you going to ask us about a widow's sister? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please do. Please do. You're saying it's the first Marvel centered around a female superhero. I was like, uh, what about, like, Wonder Woman? Did that come out afterwards? That's DC. Oh, oh I hate my to gosh. Get, I hate to get nerdy Are you technical. even going to go there? Oh. Come on. Dude, do you even marvel? Do you even? I think it's... False. I think it's false. What do you think? I think that there were other DC movies, and I know that there are other Marvel movies, but I think that the Black Widow was the first female-centered. So you think it's true? I'm going to say it's true. It's false. What? It is false. <laughs> what? That was 2021. 2019. What was what, it? What movie do you think it was? 2019. Okay, no, don't uh, pick DC. Captain Marvel? Ding, 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 It was Captain Marvel. Yeah. I thought yeah. it really? That was the first. Mm. That is a surprise. Oh, you're so smart over there. Oh, if I was smart, I would have gotten the points. Yeah, I'm smarter. Mandy got I'm pretty dumb over here for saying that. Mandy's in the lead three to two. Are you guys good at grammar? No, absolutely not. We're going to do a couple grammar questions here. This should be fun. Uh, sign me up for Grammarly. Could of is a correct phrase in English grammar. Is that true or false? Could of. No, it is not a correct I could have. That's what we say, but it's not have, proper. Yeah. False. We both say false. Are we right? God, you guys are smart. The correct Yay. phrase is could have. That's why yeah. we have. That's why we abbreviate could have with a apostrophe V-E. I am the smartest man alive. Could have, not could, could of. Could have. have. Yeah, you could put apostrophe in there, right? Yep. Yeah. Or you could just put an A at the end, so it's like coulda, coulda, woulda, yeah. shoulda. Or you could just not be lazy and say could have. No. True. No. You could have just said that. When it comes to existential spiritualism, I would say, coulda, shoulda, Buddha. Whoa. <laughs> Every sentence must contain a verb. True or false? Well, a verb is an action. Your action. To make it a sentence? Do you like nouns or verbs better? I don't think it needs it. I don't think it needs a verb. So I say false. <laughs> oh, I think you do need a verb. I'm going to say true. Do you like nouns or verbs better, though? I like verbs because they're exciting. Verbs. Yeah. Action. It's fun. The answer is true. A complete sentence typically requires at least one verb. All right, fine. But it says typically. Typically. Oh, this internet thing. I don't know if I believe everything I had on it. Listen to this. So my wife and I are researching Fargo the movie the other day because we were doing a little research for a trivia contest we we're going to be you part of. Can going to cheat And on it, it comes right? up on facts.com that Fargo is a fictional city. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoever wrote the article said... Although much of the movie takes place in Minnesota, the Coen brothers chose the fictional city of Fargo <laughs> to center their movie around. And they say it's not a real city. How, okay. How ignorant is that? God, I just want to get them a plane ticket yeah. to Fargo. And that was like, on hey, facts.com. That's rough. I think I'm going to tell Gene at the hen house to look at your hands before you play trivia. I bet you play like high school and you have I the do an- not. And some of the answers on your hands. I do don't not. You? How? 
I'm going to tell him to look we at your hands. More? I feel yeah. like I've been lied to. Fargo's the, not real. The Hundred Years War lasted exactly 100 years. Is that true or false? So Mandy and I are tied up four to four. No. Oh, okay. The 100-year 100 100 war. The 100-year war lasted 100 years. I think it lasted 98 years. <laughs> You're going to say false. Yeah, false. I'm going to say it's true. It's false. Oh! <laughs> 116 years. What the? I wish they'd call it the 116 year war. <laughs> Sounds yeah. better, right? Yeah. Make more sense. 1337 to 1453. So you caught the tail end of that war, didn't you? <laughs> Yo! Shut right? up! Because weren't you born in the early 1400s? Gosh, could you imagine <laughs> how many people were in this world? What did they dress like? You know what I say? Fudge about Fudge it. Fudge about it. Get out of here. <laughs> That's enough of that. More coming up with a wake-up call. Froggy Dead at 9.9. Forget about it.